Hello out there, lords and ladies, and welcome back to another episode of Bohemian Rhapsody. I'm your host, the Godless Gamer, and let's hope that we can have some fun today. Let's have some laughs. I actually had to get myself nice and pumped up. Uh, I, I sometimes I listen to like a like some song or something that gets me pumped up before I start recording because sometimes I just can't seem to begin a video properly. Well, let me. Well, while I'm talking. But anyway, so yeah, I listened to some music. I got this one song. I know it may sound weird, but if any of you are other Paradox players and you like other Paradox games, most Paradox games just have like really good music and uh, really good soundtracks. But my favorite above all is definitely Stellaris. There's this one song called The Imperial Fleet. And I just listen to that song and it just gets me pumped up because it's just so epic. So that's what I listened to. <laughs> that's what I listened to before I started recording, just to get me pumped up. It's not that I need to be pumped up. It's not because I'm not pumped up to play the game. I love this game. This is my favorite Paradox title. It's just me trying to overcome like my shyness when I'm like beginning an episode. So anyway, did I even do the intro? Yeah, anyway, Bohemian Rhapsody, episode 23, you guys. Let's get into this. I'm in a good mood, as you can probably tell. I'm pumped up. So let's have some fun, everybody. We're getting back into Freddie Mercury, the fourth life. We still need to... Oh, uh, this just completely depressed me because I forgot. We, we haven't had a son yet. So this episode is going to be a lot of me worrying constantly about whether or not Freddy's going to have a son here. So let's see what happens. McQueen is 39. So what? That's 46 is the age when you stop having kids. So we've got seven years, which is a decent amount of time. And I'm doing everything in my power to boost my fertility. I'm in the family focus, boosting my fertility. I'm, I have items that are boosting my fertility. I have court items that are boosting my fertility. So Freddy is as fertile as he can possibly be. It's just up to McQueen to want to do us because she has a different sexual orientation and that's okay, but I would really like a son now. So can we make it happen, McQueen? I would really like it to happen. <laughs> I, her opinion's already amazing. I just thought to myself, maybe if we just keep buttering her up, she'll want to do us. But her opinion is already at the max. What do we want instead? Do we want prestige or piety? <laughs> or will dedicating this to her just make her... Just, just make her horny as hell? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it to McQueen. Let's hope she appreciates it. Come on. You know you appreciate it. Steward Sezema proudly delivers the news that the works to... That the works to make Loquette a center of trade are, in his words, coming together. The commoners of Zatek may now easily ply their trades and conduct commerce at this regional center. Does that mean the city's done? The city is done. Awesome. So... And Mo what? Yes! Yes! Please. Please, game. I'm begging you. I need a song. So she, I guess she appreciated <laughs> me dedicating whatever I'm making to her. I'm, I'm making an urn. So she got all hot and heavy because I dedicated this urn to her. I'm in a good mood because she just got pregnant. Grovelers. Now is the time to ask me for things, because I'm in a really good mood. My vassal, Duchess Svatava, glances down before stepping forward to voice his petition. My liege, I, I seek your aid in combating the issue of the lack of sheriffs. I cannot fix the problem with the resources I have. So he wants, she wants some gold. Sure, 50 gold? That's nothing. Take it. I'm, my, my queen is pregnant. My lord, my steward... Counts as Emma speaks up. I propose a cadastral survey. More money. Take it. Take it. <laughs> My liege, uh, I have a great idea that can bring you either money or fame. Well, let's try to get some money. He wants to put up um, an artifact exhibition. And the last time we did this, we've gotten this 
event before. Last time we did this, we made it for free. This time, I ain't gonna be so generous. This time, I just spent a whole bunch of money, and I want some money back, so... I want the people to pay to witness my artifacts. So now we're making 51 a month. I did just spend a lot of money there, just because I'm feeling the way I do, but that's okay. We'll save some money. We're not fighting any wars, at least for now. I do want to get some conquest. I want to fight Angria. They have no allies. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. We're gonna have to start investing money in our realm again not too long away. Seven years away, and then we can upgrade all of our farms and all those things. I don't need to sway that guy anymore. Let's work on this fine bearded gentleman. I'm being raided while I'm at peace? I don't think so. If I'm at war and I can't be bothered, then fine, but you chose a time to raid me while I'm not doing anything else, so of course, raise all men-at-arms. Please, Freddy Jr. I'm going to find out in three months. I'm so scared. Daughters are fine. I, it's not that I mind having daughters. It's just now I need a son. I I had two daughters. Range of betrothal. A member of my dynasty. He's going to be born into a house where this woman is club-footed, which is congenital. It's not going to give me an alliance. Who is this kid? He's just a member of my dynasty. He's my grand nephew. I think that's how it works. No. He's not marrying some club-footed woman. He's gonna get a nice alliance, or a nice marriage. So those raiders were absolutely moronic. They got what they deserved. Uh-oh, McQueen's in an event. He's inflating. Each day, it seems my court is abuzz with the talk of the next banquet, and many have grown rather more portly as of late. Barut, my food taster, seems more lethargic with, e with each session, sweating more profusely as each foreign fancy is lifted to his mouth. The culinary activity is fueled by McQueen, Marquetta, and Maria's constant vying to demand the most memorable meal for my overworked cooks. Today, it is my courtier, Maria, who drools. My liege, tonight I am having the kitchens prepare the richest sauce known to man, served with a ten-bird roast. These fleeting pleasures are nothing compared to God's grace. Uh, what is happening? Whatever is happening, it's making me hungry. Soboslav loses some opinion. My realm priest, who's already my friend and loves me, so what if he loses 10 opinion? This Marquetta really needs some help. I can't wait. Now, with that out of the way, what is my wife going to give birth to? Development progress increases by 35 in all... No, in just... No, no. Every held county. Gold well spent.
I wanted to scream right there, but I'm practicing. I'm not trying to hurt your ears, but I have a son, Freddy the Fifth. In a dusty corner of the library, I find a tome, bound in leather and inscribed with weird symbols, partially hidden behind other books. It is old, but has obviously seen some recent use. As I leap through it, I quickly come to the realization that it deals with some <clears throat> unconventional knowledge. Heresy. Get this event out of my way. I want to name my son. Come on, Freddy. You got better things to do. You gotta. It's time to name your son. Stop reading books. If I knew how to spell, I'm blanking. There we go. With a tired yet blissful smile, Timbor presents me with a perfect little son. Freddy the Fifth. I'm so scared to press him and see what inheritable traits he gets. He didn't get genius. No. Whatever, we had a son. He's getting the name Freddy because he's my son. He didn't get one of the intelligence traits. I, I hoped he would get one from each of them, but that's not how it turned out. He took after his mom. He didn't take after his dad. Damn you, Freddy! I want to put a powerful vassal here. 13 seems to be the best that we're going to get. I don't have to sway him anymore because now he's super powerful. Let's sway this 11-year-old. Oh, no, we can't. He doesn't understand politics yet, so... Wow. An illustrious pedestal item, Dynasty Opinion, plus ten. He whips the covering off and my eyes grow wide as I see what's hidden beneath. Usually there's like a big description, like describing the, the item that was just made, and apparently it's not it's not a lot to talk about. It's just an urn. Like that's what it should say here. It's it was it was just an urn. But it's okay. Compared to my other pedestal items, it's actually not that good. Even though it's even though it's like really high quality. I guess these are a little redundant, but I definitely want to keep Jesus' Jesus's underwear. We want that. The hammer that I have here gives me a lot of different things. The urn is not good enough to be put on display. It doesn't earn the right. It hasn't earned the right to sit next to Jesus' underwear. That is still, that's still, in my opinion, my best item. <laughs> As I survey my court, I notice my steward, Duke Arnost, in lively conversation with one of my foreign guests, Simislav. Really? He's foreign? Everybody around here has Slav at the end of their name, so I would have think he's just another, just another local. King Freddy, I represent the interests of a mercantile group of my Polabian kinsmen. We see great potential in establishing a merchant community of Polabians here, or Polabians here in Prague. We could just be a dick and get money instantly, or we can actually be good and for 20 years get more holding taxes in Prague. Yes, we shall establish a merchant community. This guy wants to make me a weapon? This guy wants to sell me a weapon? No. I'm definitely ignoring that, because now I need to debate on whether I want this. Somebody wants to forge regalia. Blind man? Do we trust a blind man to make us regalia? No. At least with this guy, we know he's going to make me something legendary. And... 
that's really expensive. But uh, his prowess isn't that bad. His marshal's pretty good. I like his personality. So I'm willing to bring him into my court. Roland slowly shakes his head before bowing deeply. It's both an honor and a privilege to forge you a weapon. What do we want? What kind of weapon? We have a spear right now. Make me another spear. So this is what my spear is doing for me right now. He might actually request my old spear so he can make his new one, and I'd be willing to do that as long as the item he makes is really good. Room to rule. My, my son's going to need all the help he can get here. Let's make sure that we are raising him. I have two wards, who both of my daughters. My eldest daughter is about to become... She's about to become a woman. Apparently. So... I'm not going to be her guardian anymore. She can have... What kind of education am I giving her? Diplomacy. Let's give her somebody... Somebody really diplomatic. And we're gonna raise our son. My other daughter wants to be temperate. Yes. So while we're just letting some time go by, while we're letting um, our money accumulate a little bit, let's see what we're going to do here for our next war. As long as Angria hasn't gotten an ally yet, I think I want to take something from them. Their army is getting stronger and stronger by the minute. He is a pretty powerful king. He has two kingdom titles, two duchy titles, and he owns six counties. He's he's got a he's a pretty powerful king. And he's just going to keep getting more powerful and more powerful, so I think we probably should declare war on him soon. We are working for a duchy that he has a piece of. And what do you know, everybody? This is the... Uh, this is the county with that really valuable mine. So this is actually going to be something that I want to keep. I'm going to want to keep this. So I'm going to have to give something else that I have away. I have the... I actually have the domain limit. I don't have to give it away. Or I don't have to give something else away in exchange. That's good. So we're going to fight Angria. The war target's going to be a Gottingen, where the mine is. And that's going to be the furthest western extent of our West Slavian title. Let me just double check. I always want to Prove it visually. Yeah, that's as far west and north as we're going to have to go. So, let's do it. They have nobody to call in. They have a decent amount of money, so they might spam mercenaries. Ooh... Let's save up, so... If he does spam mercenaries, we can do it right back. Our army is already twice as powerful as him, but if he really, really spams mercenaries, he could be a threat. So let's save up money too, so so two could play at that game. I lost another... This was the woman who had council rights guaranteed. Her son just took over. It's... 
it's still in his contract but now that it's a different contract it's a different ruler we're gonna have to find some opportunity to maybe get a hook on this guy so we can take this out i don't even know why i put it in in the beginning and in the first place i think i was just trying to be nice but he's gonna force himself on my council now he's gonna want to be my marshal I'm just going to do it before he does. I'm just going to assign him now. And I'm going to do the something that I haven't done in a while. I'm going to start finding secrets. Let's hope we can find a secret against that guy as soon as possible. Against the Duke of Mycin. And let's save up. Get ready for some war. Another betrothal? I can get an alliance with the Kingdom of Castile on the other side of the friggin... On the other side of Europe? It would be a very impractical alliance. He wants my daughter to marry... Not his heir, just one of his sons. No thanks. When my daughter turns 16, we'll take a look at the marriage screen and we'll see what kind of alliances we can get. Because all of our current ones are either internal alliances or just very weak alliances. I have a couple in Italy. Our spear is almost done. I'm really hoping that she can get pregnant at least one more time and maybe give me a spare. I've got my heir. It's always nice to have a spare. Time to disappears in Roland Smithy, drinking sl sliv of it as we excitedly discuss the spear he's forging for me. Am I imagining things or is there an indescribable tension? Are you, uh, are you getting attracted to this man? The hour has grown late when my weaponsmith puts down his tongs, takes a deep quaff from his goblet, and smiles at me. He's bisexual, so he's coming on to me. He's coming on to Freddy. No thank you. I won't bust his chops for it. I won't bust his chops. I'm just gonna say I'm not. <laughs> but we learned a secret on him. So now we can get a, a hook on it if we ever want to. Apparently there's an inspiration project where it has the... <laughs> what does that mean? What does that even mean? Somebody has the... Apparently there are no schemes for my spymaster to find. I don't believe it. If there's anything, we shall find it. Come on, my realm is humongous. I just learned a secret on somebody myself instantly two seconds ago. My spymaster can't. So he gave us a magnificent spear. It looks like it's better. It's better than the spear I have. It presents me with an object wrapped in cloth. As I unveil what is hidden, my eyes grow wide. A long spear, ooh, of masterful craftsmanship. The wrought iron head has been etched to feature different Catholic motifs and then mounted on an eglant, e eglant, elegant oak shaft that has been inlaid with ivory. Prowess plus eight, ten, Night effectiveness is nice. Pursuit efficient efficiency. Enemy fatal casualties. Advantage in farmlands kind of kind of stinks. That's like the least. <laughs> that's the least prevalent terrain type. It's like it's that. That is so situational. Unless I'm fighting battles in in the core of my realm, that's pretty much useless. <laughs> But everything else is fine. It gives me better gives me better prowess. And I actually have an idea 
instead of like selling or doing something else with this spear, I'm going to reforge it. Powerful vassal opinion plus one, courtier and guest opinion plus two. Those same things from stress gain plus four, prestige per dread. I'm sorry, everybody. I want to take a look at my hammer. The spear will give me more prestige per dread. Same stress gain loss. Dread gain is really nice for the hammer. Natural dread. Powerful vassal opinion plus two with the hammer as opposed to the... All right, so this spear isn't better. Maybe I'll just give that to somebody. That's something that we could just give. Realm Priest, you're, you're going way too fast for me. I can't keep up. You're fabricating cl You're too damn good at your job. Slow down. We're almost to a thousand gold. I just lost an artificer and a bodyguard. Debbie comes of age. I am proud to see my daughter is no longer as, as no longer a child, but as an adult. She got Charismatic Negotiator. That's pretty good. This is my first daughter. Let's... Let's check out her prospects. Let's see what... Let's see the men that have come calling for her hand. Let's go by Alliance Power. We can, we can get an alliance with Angria, who are just about to fight now. Novgorod. That is way too far away. Well... Now that our realm is getting a little bigger, maybe it's not so far away. We can get another alliance with Italy. We can get our alliance back with Italy. Who's this kid? He's the heir. He's the future. She would have to wait for him to grow up, but this would still get me an alliance upon arranging it. They are slightly related. He doesn't have any congenital traits. He's pathetic, but he is... He is the heir to the... And I would get an alliance back with the king of Italy. I need alliances now, so... Okay, I'm keeping that in my pocket. Let's... Before we make any rash decisions here. East Francia, no, I'm fighting you. Hungry? Is he the heir? No. Hungary would be a nice alliance to get to help me fight Grey Moravia, but it looks like Hungary's fighting a war right now that they might pull me into. I'm sorry this is taking me a little bit, guys. I just... This is... I'm marrying my daughter for an alliance, and I really want this to be good. Hungary wouldn't be a bad one. They're really close. Who is he fighting? He, oh, this is an internal alliance or war? No, he's fighting some people up here. Almost 5,000 men. More than 5,000. Italy. I'm doing it. <laughs> Debbie's going to have to wait a little while for the kid to grow up, but... She's going to be the king, or excuse me, she's going to be the queen of Italy when they get married, so. I think that's reward enough. They can keep it in his house, that's fine. We'll do patrilineal. There we go, we got our, we got our daughter betrothed. And we got ourselves an alliance with Italy. That's nice, I'll take it. Lost a court. People are dying off. While she's still in my court, let's keep her. Let's keep her busy. She has an excellent aptitude. While she's waiting to get married, which is going to be a while, she can be the tutor. 
I like her personality. Let's give her a jab. All right, let's hire a court artificer too. This guy that hit on me. <laughs> let's give him a job. He made me a good weapon. He he made me a really good weapon. Grand tournament. No thanks. I got a war to fight here. I'm just using a thousand gold as a nice benchmark, and then we can declare war. Hold on. Hold on. Teaching kids. How do I teach these kids? I can't teach her any more languages. It's too late for her. And my son is still too young. He'll have his time. He'll... <laughs> He'll have his time for when we're cramming languages down his down his throat. The first time it happened, I just barely gave it a moment's notice or a moment's thought, but my vassal count Jenek has grown bolder. He's defying me. Which is weird because he's terrified of me, but he's still defying me. He's testing my limits. You guess Jenek is cowardly or wants to keep the peace. He's definitely cowardly. He's craven, so let's do a subtle threat of violence. And because he's terrified, I feel like this is the best choice. I get a weak hook on him if it works. I failed? I failed. So let me get this straight. I failed to intimidate this guy who's terrified of me and is craven. If I had to make that choice again, I'd make the same one. That's my only response. I would I would make the same choice again. Here we go. Finally, we're to the point where we are grabbing some land. Let's get this really valuable mine into our realm and in our pocket. And I didn't fabricate a claim for it yet. I haven't fabricated a claim because it's not it's not going to be quick. We could take something else then. We could take Blankenburg where everybody just draws a blank. Everybody forgets where the name of the place. This is a part of a new duchy that we have to get. Don't get me wrong, we have to get it eventually, but I really wanted this mine, but it doesn't look like that's what's happening. I do want to get some conquest. We'll fabricate this claim, and we'll grab this the next time we fight them. Let's gra grab Blanken Blankenberg, where everybody draws blanks. My daughter Betty seems to have been having a difficult time at her latest feast. She slipped underneath one of the tables and there hid from people for the entire meal. She wants to be shy. Hopefully nobody beats her. I hope that person doesn't come out of the shadows again, because we haven't had that in a while. Yeah, you better run. Or do whatever you can- Oh, he just spammed some mercs. Let's try to catch, catch these armies while they're separated. Damn it, I probably could have just had them right there. My poor men, I'm just marching them all over creation. Now they're in a now they can unite. Crap. Let's see how many mercenaries he spammed. Well, he ran out of money. He spammed 2,500 mercenaries. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? That's what you wanna do? Wow, doing these really expensive ones are 
pretty much gonna bankrupt me, but fine, I'll take the Swabian Band. What do you say to that, huh? What do you say to that? Nothing. Got nothing to say. Yeah, just stand there and get slaughtered. Oh, uh, you know what stinks? I said Blankenberg isn't bordering, <laughs> so even when I get this, I'm not going to be able to fabricate a claim against them faster. Glykenstein? It's pronounced Glykenstein? <laughs> East Francia has that, and I... Ooh, East Francia is allied with Italy, too. So who is Italy going to side with if I fight East Francia. They better they better fight with the right side. But I'm not worried about that right now. Let's be angry. Let's give them something to be angry about. Twenty five percent war score. That's not bad. I don't need to fabricate any more claims over here in the east. I need a whole bunch in here, so... After I get the war target, I'm gonna see if it's gonna be possible for me to kind of get over here. If I can get to his capital without taking too much attrition, I'll try it. Give me gifts, yes. How close are we to our next Dynasty Legacy? We're almost there. We're getting there. Another betrothal arrangement. King of Novgorod. No, let the kid grow up. Let him become 14. Or let him become 16. And then I'll decide. And those are the kinds of things that I normally do between the episodes anyways, is like arrange marriages. We can get the friend. Giving people gifts will be 100% better. I wouldn't mind that either. Monthly prestige for dread. <laughs> Diplomacy is a good, is a really good lifestyle. There, there are a decent amount of good ones. Let's. I'm getting thoughtful first. First. Just checking some stuff while we're sieging. Might as well. Let me try to multitask as best I can. Opinions are so good now. Opinions are rock solid now. And apparently this guy really stinks at his job because he cannot find any secrets. Come on, man. Do I have to replace you? I might as well. He's not a powerful vassal, and I have a powerful vassal. He has the same exact, exact skill, but this guy is a powerful vassal, so... Let's see if he does any better. Let's see if this drunkard <laughs> does any better. He's super paranoid, so... If anybody's gonna find secrets, he is. We're running out of time to have more children, so let's hope... We have one more son, maybe? The comfort of a friend. My friend encouraged me to throw plates and scream into pillows, and after the emotional storm died down, I actually did feel better. After this short break, I feel more at ease than I had in a long time. I'm lucky to have a friend like Count Conrad. It's nice to have good friends, Freddy. I'm glad your, your friends are working out for you. 
and they are relieving stress. This is going to relieve all of my stress. Thank you. Thank you, Conrad. A ruler in the making. Just look at him. Yeah, my son's a boss. He wants to be bossy. You know that. You know what that means. If he wants to be stewardship ed education, who am I to decline? Absolutely. He's a little chubby. Since I'm looking at him, I'm gonna dress him. <laughs> Even though he's an infant, I'm gonna dress him. I want to give him his little crown. He is high nobility, so we'll give him high nobility clothing. It's pretty cool looking. Do we want to go with beige, like the most boring color ever, or do we want to go with red? Yeah. Let's give him his teeny crown. That's my boy. Look at that little stink eye look that they all give. <laughs> My daughter's a language learning machine. How many can we... She, she can't learn anymore. So she's done. Good for you, Betty. My realm priest just died. He was really good. And we got a really bad one. But this one's about to die. He's literally about to die. So we won't have to deal with this crappy realm priest for long. I wouldn't be surprised if he dies like in two seconds. The game says they're even. I doubt it. We're fine. Or maybe the game wasn't lying. It's going to be kind of close. I just lost an antiquarian and a high almoner. <clears throat> Even though he's absolutely terrible at the job, let's just give it to him because he's going to die soon. And <laughs> let's just be nice to him. In his final in his final hours, and Antiquarian is he could be my Antiquarian too. And let's hope we win this battle. It's a little too close for comfort here. We got him. The Angria Banner. <laughs> Do we destroy it? Yeah. No thanks. I'm good on brooches. I am all brooched out. I am sick of brooches. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna split my army up and just let them take a break. The war score is going up naturally because we got the target. No, he's not finding anything either. Come on, guys. You're letting me down. There's plenty of secrets to learn. I learn a secret about somebody every five seconds. Stop moving both of them. I keep doing that. Sorry. Milota, my archbishop, frets all through the day, evidently attempting to find the right words. At last we make our way to dine. He begins sheepishly 
My liege, they say King Onfroy, your cousin, takes his purported claims on your lands more seriously each day. <clears throat> Let him. Let him make what up. This is another person who has got one foot in the grave. Who cares? Let him make whatever stupid claims he wants. He's not getting them. Let's try to deflate the situation. 65. There we go. Happy. Now die already. Die already, cuz. Another drunkard. <laughs> There we go. Nice and resupplied. Let's do this. We only have two more years before she becomes infertile. So let's bejewel her and increase her fertility a little bit. I'll spend the money for McQueen. So maybe we can have another son. All right, boys. Look at all these people keep dying. I need a master of horse. I'm fighting a war right now. I definitely need a master of horse. <laughs> this hunchback guy is my commander. <laughs> and... She's not doing anything. Apparently, she's going to be a really good master of horrors, so she can do that. What's happening? My dearest Freddy, it's so good to see you. I watch you as you dutifully rule our realm and would like to assist in any way that can. Could you have another son, please? That would really be nice. She looks over her shoulder. I may have... Well, let's not dwell on what I did in the matter, but... What I will say is that a mutual acquaintance owes me a favor. What did you do to him? Then she winces, if remembering something. Why is this like a romantic music? I'm finding out that my wife had to do something really unsavory to get some kind of secret on somebody. She provides you with a hook on somebody, and she gains an opinion. Duke Smill. The only thing I can do is get money. I'm not confident. The last one was really close. What does the game say the odds are? It says we'll win, hidden behind it. Yeah, it says that you will probably... Alright, I'm trusting you, game. I'm trusting you. The fact that they're running away is another sign that I probably will win, and now they're trying to drag me through attrition. I'm not that stupid. We're just going to defend the war target. If that's what I need to do, that's what I'm going to do. Let him dance around like a fool. I'll just be smart and just to finally a secret not against the person I wanted it to be against but at least that means that there are secrets in my realm at least his men are getting exercise you know just marching around Katarina's very existence is an insult to the name of our glorious dynasty. Katarina's ve Katarina? She's just some random dynasty member? Oh, she's inbred. Her very existence is an insult to the name of our glorious dynasty. My kinswoman is such a doddering imbecile. A blundering about, making a fool of the House Mercury. Well, she's not technically in House Mercury. She's in House Mercury Torgau. So this is somebody else's problem. It's not the main line of my my house. I could probably make something out of her. I have a diplomacy challenge here. Let's put McQueen back on diplomacy. It 
didn't help. 81%. Oh, it's a learning challenge. Excuse me. It says it's a diplomacy skill. I'm getting this option because of my diplomacy, but technically it's a learning challenge. That's confusing. Way to throw off your gamers, Paradox, because I was about to do a diplomacy thing. So anyway, one of Katarina's skills will increase. Well, <laughs> does it matter? Is one of her skills increasing going to make up for all of this? I don't think so, but anyway. I'll take 19 stress. Let's try to make something out of her. It was hard. It was a hard task getting something through to Katarina's thick skull, but somehow I managed. She is, at the very least, no longer a complete disappointment. She increases her stewardship. By one. <laughs> Good for you, Freddy. Looking out for your extended dynasty members. Now my jester, what are you doing? Why is why is there no noise coming from inside my mercury cabinet? Why is there noise coming from inside my mercury cabinet? I look around the room, there's no one else here. It's empty and dark. Creak? Could it be a spirit? G -g 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 ghosts Some sort of malicious sprite? Suddenly it burst open, revealing my jester Maria, jumping and fl flailing her arms. Beware the mercury cabinet ghost! I've come to make you laugh! Suspicious of furniture. <laughs> you kill her because she thought she was a ghost. <laughs> no. She's just doing her job. That's what jesters do. They, they just act like idiots. They act like fools because that's where the word fool came from. Gimme- I got him. We, we captured half his army. Now for the rest of ya. Now for the rest of ya. Damn it. McQueen just got pregnant again. Oh, what's she doing? She's carrying a boy. I'm not chasing him around creation. It's not happening. I'm, I'm just not gonna do it. I'll siege something else. This this war is going to be tedious, I admit. It's kind of tedious right now, but I don't care. As long as I win, that's all that matters. And we are in the positive money-wise, so it doesn't really matter if the war kind of drags on. I'm still in the positive money with money. Stop telling me about this. Stop. Game, stop telling me about that. I can ransom somebody. Is he contributing? Nope. I really want to find out what McQueen has. Maybe she'll have a better son. And we'll have to rename Freddy if we have a better son. <laughs> Apparently Hesek spit in my daughter Betty's food during dinner. It seems as if Betty is trying to tire Hesek out by not reacting to his bully. She's just calm. She's taking it calmly. Good for her. So she only has one semi-negative trait here with Shy. She's turning out well. Why is she in, like, wearing her, like, nightgown, like her pajamas? Come on, girl. I don't- do I have to dress you myself, too? <laughs> That's something I can do between. We might have to take that crown off of my son's head if we have a better son. This siege will end it, hopefully. Me and my friend are, ha are having some laughs again. My friend, Count Conrad, has honored me with a visit and has brought one of his courtiers along. Conrad approaches me excitedly. Well met, King Freddy. It pleases me to see you thriving here in Prague. It occurred to me that Bo Bogomir... <laughs> Bogomir here might be of service in your court. Well, that's for me to judge. Yes, he will be of service. He's not my culture, but he is a beast. 19 prowess. I know just the place for him. In the front lines. That's where he belongs. In the front lines. Let's get him married, too. Let's find 
somebody with inheritables, of course, no, because why not? And let's find somebody check because I want to do a matrilineal marriage because if at the current rate, if I do patrilineal, his kids will be of a different culture. I want them to be Czech, so we have to find a Czech woman. Svatava here looks pretty good. Really good personality. She's bringing in at least some kind of trait. And he's like my, one of my best knights, so he deserves a nice wife. Matrilineal. Well done. Now that I've rewarded you with an amazing wife... Fight all my battles for me. He might be a good bodyguard. I've lost some of my bodyguards. I'm gonna make him my bodyguard. And just to make sure he really gets the point that I really like him and I want him to like me back, I'm gonna give him a gift. Bodyguards are powerful agents against you, so let's make sure he really loves me. He really, really loves me. No. One second. One second, Grovelers. Let me end my war first. My rival died. Good. Get out. Get out of life. 99%. Another son. Oh. Alright. Let's see. We're not building up the tension this time. He's better. He's better. Freddy. No, not actually Freddy. Frederick. He's better. He's taking the throne. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Freddy. You can keep your cool, like, outfit, but that crown is not on your head anymore. Sorry, kid. It's not his fault. I know it's not his fault. He didn't choose to not get good inheritable traits. That's just what happened. So, he's gonna be Freddy, and we're gonna rename him to Eddie. Or no, I'm gonna do... Instead of Eddie, we've done Eddie a bunch of times. Let's do... Theodore. His name is Theodore, so his nickname is Teddy. So he's gonna be Teddy Mercury. I hope I spell Theodore right. Theodore. Ah, uh, um, it's not a better name, it's just a much different name. Uh, a much different name. Because nothing compares to Freddy. Freddy is the name of kings and rulers. Hey, Squirt. Let's put a little crown on your head. A little baby-sized crown. He's gonna look adorable. Look at him. Don't you just wanna pinch his little cheeks? Don't you? Let's spin him around. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking this way too seriously, but, uh... I can see your... I see London, I see France. Fellow uh, independent ruler opinion? Ooh. Uh, Max learn schemes, title creation? Nah. Close family opinion might be nice. So would befriend. Let's do befriend. And let's... Let's get back into learning only because I want to get pedagogy because I'm raising my sons. Your wards can get additional skills and become your friends. So because we're going to be raising our sons, we can, we'll get some value out of this. Let's do scholarship. Development growth would be nice as well. We're just about to, hit t about to hit an hour. Let's end this war. And then we'll listen to Grovelers, and then we'll, <laughs> then we'll end the episode there. We'll end it on a groveling session. Blankenberg. Yeah. 
We can hold on to it for now. Joe Schmo, you're the winner. How much longer to Menorialism? Two more years. So next episode, we're going to be able to build up our farms and in our manor houses. Okay, let's end it on a good note. <laughs> As always, let's bring in the Grovelers. I'm so, I'm so proud of McQueen. She did exactly what I wanted her to do this episode, so I'm so happy. My lord, I represent the Saxon people of the county of Blankenburg. You mean the people that I just conquered? <laughs> we are devoted and faithful subjects. Well, you just became my subjects. But our land is poor, underdeveloped, and scarcely populated. Please allow us to recolonize it. No, I know what's best for the county of Blankenburg. The control is going to go down, but it's already horrible. It's horrible right now, because we just fought a war there. So what if this peasant loses opinion of me? Get out. Crop sharing. Look at my son here. Look at my first son. He's got his arms crossed. He's really pissed that he can't wear that crown anymore. Uh, crop sharing. My guest Miloslava approaches my throne with a smirk on her face and bows deeply. Greetings, your majesty. During my recent trip to the kingdom of Great Moravia, I learned some fascinating tidbits. This woman will leave my court. Another person that's got their foot in the grave. Another drunkard. Let's give her the money and get whatever secrets she's got because she's on her way out of life. She's about to get out of life. So let's get whatever secrets we can out of her. My business here is done. Not a bad groveling session. Kind of went a little fast, but... So there we go. I have a lot to manage between the episodes. I will get uh, marriages taken care of i'll see what i can check out for we got one good marriage with our daughter so we got that uh, uh, italian alliance again so that was a, a nice marriage that we actually got while i was playing we have two sons and and mcqueen just had my second son in the nick of time so we arguably in my opinion this is like the perfect amount of children two daughters for one to get for an alliance, another to marry matrilineally so you can start building your family upon, uh, start building your family and giving you people that you can land, and then having a son, two sons because you want to have an heir and a spare, so just in case something bad happens to one, you got another one. So this is like the perfect family. I love it. I love it. Anyway, everybody, that is going to be the end of episode 23, which I actually enjoyed very much. That was really fun. I'm so glad we had sons. We got more conquests, so we in, we did good there. We got some really nice items. We got a new magnificent spear. So I'm just really happy with how this episode went. Anyway, if you guys did too, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit that like button down at the bottom of the video. If you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? Are you are you a fool? Are you a jester? Hit that subscribe button. Become an awesome lord or lady. And I will see you guys in the next episode, episode 24. But until then, have a good one, guys.